we were actually supposed to interview him like about a year and a half ago, but just couldn't get scheduled for whatever reason. It's too bad because yeah. I don't really think he has like a a piece on him that really tells a story. Oh, this you dude, know? man, he was he was definitely way ahead of his time, man. Just as far as like. You know, like the, the 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 shit he was into, like the opulent black shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like trying to be like super rich, like like Yeah, like like I don't think a lot of dudes was even thinking like him at that time. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you know the suits, because I remember I read I think it might have been Russell Simmons book. But he said that the when Jekyll and Hyde was wearing the suits, that's because they worked uh, in Wall Street. So they basically would just go to shows straight off their jobs. And See? they just kept the, kept the suits on. I didn't on. know that. I thought that was just like their nah, shit. Yeah, well, I you mean, it became I mean? their thing, but that that's actually how it originated. Right. right? And then uh, he, he said how... You know, they're doing the little shows and whatever else. And then they saw LL Cool J perform and they said, oh, that's it. We're done. <laughs> when they saw the how the reaction and, and Right. And, cool and where hip hop was going, they was yeah. probably like, we they, can't they, do they that. They said, they, they said we, we can't keep up with this. They we're, couldn't. We, 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 need, we need to go do something else. Because their whole style was like, it, was, it wasn't aggressive like that. It was like, and yeah. I'm Mr. Hyde. Like, it was more like. Yeah. That early MC type of style, and it was good for that. But he was smart yeah. enough to know, you see, and that's, you know, that's part of it. Being able, smart enough to assess your strengths and your weaknesses, and know what you can do and can't do. And you might want to do some shit, but I can't really do that. Like you know what I mean? Even though I yeah. want to do it, like like, yeah, I'm, I'm not. not I'm, yeah. That's just I'm not built for that. Like you know, yeah. But I can help other people do that. Right. You see what yeah. I'm saying? A, a, a lot of people that were around Jay-Z's early days were kind of saying, telling me, it's like, you know, they already knew, okay, I don't know that this guy going to be as big as he gets, but I know that I can't do what he does. Right. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Right. You know, and uh, yeah, man, that, that, that was the story. LL Cool J made them stop, made, made uh, you know, a homie go into into a whole different field, into a whole different job. <laughs> you know, so okay, I wonder let me, let me what happened to Mr. Things. Hyde. What happened to Mr. Hyde? Uh, I, they actually have a well. You know, something they were originally called the Harlem World Crew, mm. and recorded on T- Taster and Rojack Records in 1980. Wow. You know, uh, Alonzo Brown. Uh, the other guy joined Profile Records in 81 under the name Lonnie Love and recorded a song, Young Ladies. Mm. Same year, he teamed up with Andre and did Genius Rap. And then uh, they ended their relationship in 87, but Hyde continued to record with Profile Records. So yeah, so Hyde, it's called The, uh, the Witch and Hyde's Beat. <laughs> uh, we never heard that shit. We didn't know yeah, that shit. Yeah, you kind of didn't out. hear Hyde after that. Alonzo Brown... Went on to become a producer and screenwriter, serving executive producer for the Judge Mathis television show. There you go. Wow, okay. <laughs> yep. Landed on his feet. That's what's yeah. up. I like it. Yeah. Landed on his feet. Fuck it. Yeah. Just not as a rapper, though. Not as a rapper. That's Neither okay, one. though. Yeah, imagine being 59 still trying to make it in rap. If he was Jekyll and Hyde, like, okay. You don't remember me, AM, PM? <laughs> like, listen. <laughs> What do you mean I got to wait in line? Enough is enough. <laughs> so yeah, so rest in peace, Andre Harrell. You know, again, condolences to his family. Shout out Wendy Creedle. You know, sorry for your loss. Um, shout out to his son, young Andre. Look just like him. Um, yeah. 